Hey, what's going on guys? Big Timer 110 here. In today's video, I wanna do a hands-on on the ROM called Carvin. It's a custom ROM that's been in the scene for a while now. I remember this ROM being, you know, uh, it was something different back in the days. I remember I had my Galaxy S2, and this ROM here gave it a little bit of extra life to that phone. When the phone got boring because of touch width, this phone made it really, really good. I mean the ROM. So without further ado, let's get into this ROM. Let's see how it stacks up to in today against every other ROM out there. And just one more thing guys, Thank you guys for all the encouragement, all the likes, and everybody checking out the videos. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's start with this. <clears throat> Let me just throw my info in here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me just do this real quick. So <clears throat> next, you know I always do a backup from the cloud because I want everything just to be restored. My, my messages, my apps, um, you know, e everything. All my calls, recent calls, everything's gonna be restored. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right guys, let me sign in real quick, okay? Just turn around, don't look. Yes, double tap gesture. Oh, okay, good. Look, we're getting to the screen off. Let's try it right now, real quick. Let's go. Oh, okay, cool. Let me just go. Oh, yeah. And we're in. All right, so usually what I what I do is um, I like to uh, install a ROM and keep a ROM for like a week just to see how it uh, how it performs. The last ROM I used was the Candy ROM. Well, that's a hell of a ROM. That's a great ROM. I almost didn't wanna, you know, change ROMs. But check, it, check that out. That wallpaper's cool. So we'll keep that for now. What we're here to see is, let's go into the settings. So, as you can see, the accent color, it's like the, what is that? It looks like green, but I don't know the exact name of that. Okay, well, we got the usual. We got the Wi-Fi, VPN, stop, people. We got, you know, the, the usual here. We got the pair of new device for Bluetooth. We got app notifications. We got the battery. You know, it shows you the percentage here, which is right there. All right. Oh, it shows you the temperature in the battery. I'm sure it's pretty hot because, you know, we've been wiping the phone, installing the app. I mean, the ROM, so it should be kind of hot. Let's go to display. We got brightness level there. Let's see what else. Colors. Colors, all right. Okay, now let's go back out. Font, ooh, look at this. It has other fonts, so let's, I like Ubuntu, so let's try that. Eh, I'll just change it to Google. Google Sans, okay, that's a good size. My display size, you could 
Wow, okay. I'll keep mine smallest. Wow, no, that's just small, I think, but yeah, let's keep it like that. Wow, look at this, the font, this, the font size. Hold on. How about like this? Okay. Did that affect the, oh yeah, look, now I could fit, now we could fit more um, icons here. So it could be like seven. Okay, cool. The less, the better for me, but let's get this out of the way because I don't want it. I don't want this one either. Come on, we don't want it. Now let's go back to the settings. Okay, so we got tap to wake, okay. We got screensaver, device theme. Okay, so I guess, oh, I like this automatic base on time and day. So let's see how the dark one looks. Ooh, okay, all right, I like it. I like it. But if you really want a dark, I like this, but if you really want dark, I guess you could use this one. Check that out. Oh, that's black. I, that doesn't look bad though. I actually like that one better. The accent color, I really don't care right now. Um, I actually like the little green that we have going on. See, it's like a mint color. I liked it. I like that. Okay, let's go back out. Let's go to. Uh, we got the sound. Okay, we got the normal. Do not disturb. We got, you know, touch sound, charge sound, okay, screenshot, sound. We got the, again, I, I think a lot of the AOSB bombs have these uh, old Nexus sounds, which will, will change. Okay, so let's see. Now, if you go to security, under smart lock, what is smart lock? Under smart lock, you have the usual, which is on body detection, which I always turn on. And then we also have trusted places, which I don't turn on. Trusted devices, I don't turn on either. Trust face, trusted face, I do, but we'll set it up later. Voice match, I usually leave it on too, because I just wanna be you know, driving sometimes and just wanna just call out, you know, the hot word and uh, have it unlock. Okay, so additional buttons, we have that. Okay, that's really good. System back up, okay. All right. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. What is it that we wanna see? We want to see carbon fibers, right? So let's see, system, advanced restart. Yes, we want that. Smart pixels, nice. Smart pixels, shut off to, shut off pixels to reduce power consumption. Oh, okay. Auto enable smart pixel, pixels when the battery server is, saver is enabled, I guess so. Prevent burning by shifting pixels every 10 minutes. Okay, wow. That's that's really unique, you know? I don't think I've seen it in another ROM, so I, I gotta give them the shortcuts. Okay, so I guess when you long press the power, you could have all these shortcuts. Like, oh wow, it has a, a built-in screen recorder. I like that. I like that. All right, so we have settings. I'll leave flashlight in there too, just in case. Okay, so aggressive battery savings. Well, I guess this is a preference. I don't know if uh, you guys like an aggressive idle, aggressive standby. I don't know how. I don't know how these effects, how these settings will affect the notifications because I know sometimes with when you have the regular. Oxygen OS, it's really aggressive to the point where you miss notifications and when you wake up the phone, you start getting all of them because everything's just been, you know, killed and suspended. We'll work with that later. 
Okay, so this is one of my favorite guys. Screen off animation. We got color fade. Let's try it. Okay, and you can see the colors, you know, just faded. Um, and we have scale. You see how it kind of zoomed out? That's what scale is. Okay, but my favorite is this one. Almost every ROM that has this option, I always leave it. It's like the old school Nexus, you know, CR, old TV, CRT animation. See that? I like that. Okay, so vibrate on plug, we'll leave that. And then we're going to go to, we went to system, let's go to status bar. Okay, I guess this is if you want to take off any of those icons you don't want to see. All right, so here we have the battery styles. I usually leave the circle, but let me do something real quick. Let me unplug it. Okay, there we go. See, now it's not showing the percentage because it was plugged in and it was charging. But let me show you something. What I like to do is change the battery. I like portrait. Show better percentage inside. As you can see, I don't know if you can see there. that battery has a percentage inside. That's my favorite. So, um, let's see what else. You could change if you want the clock on the left or the right side, you know, as well as uh, showing the seconds. Eh, not too, not too big a fan of that, but I do like the AM, but I like the smaller one. Oh, that's cool. Show day of the week, I like that too. Carrier label, nah, no, not, not something I really want. Network traffic indicator, as you can see, it turns that on whenever there's an activity, something's downloading, you can see it. So, let's see. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, we're gonna do that. Let's go back out. Let's go to lock screen. Lock screen shortcuts. Oh, okay, look. You can put whatever you want as a shortcut on the left and the right. So let's see. Let's try this real quick. I need to use, let's see. What do I use the most? Let's do the calculator there. Boom. And then the right one, what we want to do. Let, let's have it as a scan. Actually, no, let's do a, uh, let's see. Let's see now, what could we do there? have it launch Google app, all right? So let's see, let's turn it off. Let the double tap. Oh, you can see it there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of transparent right there. You can see it right there and right there. You have the Google. So if I was to launch from that corner, you see, calculator, we're in the calculator. So that's really cool. That way you don't have to be unlocking and um, looking for the calculator sometimes when you need it. Okay, so back at the lock screen settings, we got secure quick, unlock, immediately unlock and correct security entry. Automatic face unlock, we're gonna do that because if it detects my face, I want it to just unlock. I don't want it to be having to slide to open or anything like that. So music visualizer, I like that, so I'm leaving that on. Let's go back out. Let's go to buttons. All right, so let's see. We'll keep this on 
and we'll also turn on torch there we go so let's try it let's see torch hold power boom boom all right and the good thing is you also have it on the power mini shortcut see right there screen record screenshot and we got the advanced restart and this is good because you, I don't have to be looking for it. So it's just there. Okay, so let's go to navigation bar. Let's see what we have here, layout. Okay, so what if do right leaning? Okay. And if you're left-handed, left leaning, I guess. Well, it's compact, the middle, normal. I actually do like this, eh? Okay, so I guess you could add more buttons on your navigation bar, but we're gonna leave it normal. Okay, we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go to gestures here. Now, I think these are the gestures I saw on the candy ROM. I'm not too familiar with them yet, guys, so I don't know. This is something I would have to um, see, cause you know, it says two fingers used for gestures. I don't, I just want one. Unless you guys wanna use four fingers. No, we'll go back to that. Okay, double tap on this status bar to sleep, why not? Double tap the lock screen to sleep, sure. Jump to camera, swipe up the home button. Yeah, okay, all right. All right, privacy. Okay, we could hide some apps from the recent. That's cool. And we have advanced app permission control. Okay, all right. And I think that's everything, guys. I thought it would have more customization, but so far, that's it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Right now, it's my my install being completed. Um, I have it doesn't have the gestures like the oh like the you know the OnePlus gestures, but it does have the I guess Pixel Pixel Launcher Pixel Pill whatever they call that. But um, yeah, let me see what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see anything else, let me let me know. So far here on the on more settings from the home screen from the launcher I guess okay I don't see anything else that you might want to see guys I mean if you guys want to see something oh you know what hold on there's something somebody asked me the other day is there They told me there was uh, any more languages, as you can see, and you could add. And they asked me about Portuguese. Boom, right there. So we have a, a bunch of languages that you guys want to choose. You have the option and they will change all system language. Like I'm gonna show you guys. Let's do let's do um let's do espanol because if I do any other um, language, I'm not gonna understand how to get it back to uh, to English. All right, so here we're just gonna move it up. Boom. Now check this out. You see that? Everything changed. Jueves, 2 de Mayo, completando, you see that? Everything changed. You see, Spanish. So if, I'm assuming if you choose whatever language you guys, you know, like, it'll change everything, even there, look. Everything's Spanish now. So let's just um, switch it back to English. And then, how do we get rid of this? 
I'm gonna remove this one. Boom. And there you have it. Well guys, thanks for checking out the little hands-on, not a review, just a hands-on so you guys could kind of see what the ROM has to offer. Um, I went through the settings, you saw all the settings. I actually have my, my, my phone restoring right now as we speak, so the only thing I need to do is just, you know, put uh, all the all the apps where I want them on my home screen, and that's it. Well guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know what other ROMs you guys wanna see. Um, I'm trying to do a ROM a week, uh, you know, but uh, maybe I could do even more. Because I like to kinda install a ROM, have it for a week, kinda test it out, see? Because you know, when you first install a ROM, you'll have a lot of battery drain because of everything settling into the ROM, but after a day or two, you'll have great battery. That The last ROM I had was Candy ROM. Oh my goodness, it had the best battery life I've had so far. Like, the best. But again, I had that for a week. First day, wasn't that great. Second day, started to feel better. On the third, fourth day, it was amazing. But um, but yeah, um, let me know guys what, what other ROMs you guys wanna see. And any other features you might want me to, you know, check out. Anything you guys wanna, wanted me to uh, do on the phone, whatever, let me know. Hopefully uh, we could get our hands on the OnePlus 7 when it comes out, maybe the Pro version of it. I don't know, who knows? But anyways, thanks for checking out the video guys. Like always, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.